Uh, this is uh, going to be the first episode of a new series uh, where I'm playing uh, Surviving Mars. Now, this is a, a game where you're basically building a sustainable colony on Mars, and that, uh, or some variant of Mars anyway. Uh, and that uh, it's there's no war with uh, rival factions or anything like that. Everyone else is too busy surviving, is the basic theory. Uh, now I'm just going to take a scan through here. Okay. Uh, now there's some special rules that uh, that can make things particularly difficult. Uh, now I've considered playing with the last arc, where you can only get one batch of colonists ever. Uh, that would make things very, very difficult uh, because it means that the first batch of colonists you get must be able to uh, have enough children fast enough that they uh, that that your your colony population grows. Whether that is uh, doable or not uh, it depends a lot on on a lot of random things. But I'm not going to enable any of these things actually. Uh, I'm going to go for a random sponsor and a random uh, commander profile and I'm going to take the don't panic logo just because you know don't panic is good advice uh, the mystery I'm gonna set on random some of the mysteries are basically worthless they don't affect your game at all but there are a few a couple of them anyway that can seriously 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 derail your game uh, so uh, that can uh, that can cause uh, serious trouble uh, anyway, I'll leave it on random. Uh, okay, and I'll keep the usual rival colonies. So we're at a. So, and then uh, next. Uh, now we get to choose our uh, loadout. Uh, well, I'm going to go into prefab here. Uh, I'm not going to take the Sterling Generator. Uh, I definitely want the Moisture Vaporator and I want a uh, fuel refinery uh, well let's uh, no 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 one vaporator one fuel refinery uh, one drone hub would be a good idea but let's go back here I want an explorer though uh, so I'm gonna drop these back uh, now I need to get I, I definitely I, I want to I want the Explorer so I can uh, explore anomalies uh, that's uh, absolutely uh, important early on uh, and I really want to transport as well but that can potentially wait till the uh, next ro the second rocket uh, the constructor is nice it allows you to uh, do remote uh, operations uh, but I think a transport is going to be more useful right off now the reason for that is it allows a, it allows gathering uh, uh, metals off the surface of, of Mars and that's going to be important uh, so we've got six drones uh, I'm going to grab an extra orbital probe uh, right. Well, that looks like uh, a decent uh, loadout. The reason I went for a moisture vaporator and a fuel refinery so I can refuel the rocket. Uh, that's, uh, that's an important thing to be able to do. And since you can build uh, solar panels on, uh, on Mars with just metal, uh, you don't need to to have a, a sterling generator although it's a really nice uh, power device you can get by with solar panels and uh, and uh, wind turbines uh, okay so uh, next colony site uh, right uh, let's uh, Let's uh, see what a random gives us. Well, 
Nah. What's this give us? Well, this will be a lot more difficult with dust storms, meteors, and cold waves. Relatively little concrete, but we have lots of metals and water. Uh, what's the elevation? Oh, we're uh, down low. Okay. Uh, let's try another... I want one that's not too easy. Well, that one... You know what? I think... Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, okay. So, start the game. Now, uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, starting the game is... Uh, one of the mo most important things. Um, okay, so we're India, uh, and we are inventor. Uh, okay, so that's not actually a bad combination. So start out, um, immediately pause the game. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, no, 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 no wrong thing to click on. I'm going to uh, select what research I'm going to start with. Okay, so we have uh, drone hubs that, that don't require power or maintenance, which is great. Uh, uh, live from Mars, be good one to... Oh, what have we got here? And we got medium domes right off the start, so that that's actually helpful. Not immediately, but Okay, extractor amplification is good. Explorer AI. That one's a good one to go for because that increases our uh, our research points. And decommission protocol is absolutely uh, brilliant. Uh, does it get let you uh, take buildings apart? Uh, but we also the the hygroscopic uh, vaporators uh, increases the. Uh, it's an upgrade that increases the efficiency of uh, moisture vaporators, so that's good. And uh, decommission protocol is definitely something we want. I'm not overly concerned about stuff in the terraforming uh, column just yet. Uh, this is useful, but not so much just yet. Uh, this one can be useful as well, because then you get more colonists to, uh, to choose from. Okay, so we'll I'll close that. Uh, so uh, we have an anomaly right here, and we have uh, we have concrete. Uh, we achieved a milestone just by having that breakthrough. Uh, so we got sixty-three metal surface metal here. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, well I'm going to uh, probe a couple of uh, areas nearby here uh, and that one that's uh, all the uh, probes I have right okay so I'll get uh, get these uh, get some spots queued up for uh, scanning. Uh, I want to do that one. Uh, so I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to land here. It's unfortunate we didn't find a, a water deposit, but you don't actually need one, so. Uh, so I'm going to drop my uh, rocket here. Okay, now let's uh, unpause the game and let our rocket land. See, you obviously have to uh, land your rocket uh, uh, right off the bat, you know, because that's how you get started. Go figure.
there we go and we have an explorer and uh, a transport so I'll uh, get the explorer uh, scanning anomalies wow. I keep forgetting how you drive the uh, uh, Right. It said there was four anomalies. Didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay. So, uh, I think that's all of the anomalies. Uh, so, we definitely want those getting scanned. Uh, now, the, the first thing I... Uh, I want to do here. Uh, I landed a little too far from the concrete because I was a moron. But uh, the first thing I want to do is get the uh, well. I want to get a uh, well. I'm going to drop a universal storage depot uh, uh, just so that uh, the stuff on the uh, ship can be offloaded. And then I'm going to build uh, a moisture vaporator. Uh, right. And a fuel uh, refinery. And that is going to need power. Uh, well, I'll let those build because I'm going to need to, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, I'm going to need to connect those with pipes. Does that connect the two of them? I think it does. Uh, having uh, fewer. Uh, uh, fewer pipes is less stuff that can go wrong. So uh, this needs uh, five power and this will need some amount of power and I'll just need to make sure I have that amount of power uh, available and that that will uh, then mean that I've got uh, at the very least uh, fueling capacity uh, uh, starting up. Then I'm going to go back to earth and uh, call in a resupply because I have like three rockets in this case. Uh, this takes, and I can never remember what these things take. This takes uh, five power. Okay, so I'm going to build a, well, solar panels, uh, the large ones give five power during the day. They don't, however, provide any power during dust storms. Uh, a wind turbine uh, provides five power all the time, even during dust storms. So, but it requires concrete, which uh, I don't have at the moment. So, I will put a uh, a couple of uh, solar panels up uh, over here. Okay, there's one, two, two of them should be enough there. Uh, I'm going to put up a third. Now, you don't have to build wires between them if the buildings are immediately adjacent. Uh, now, I'm going to take the uh, transport and I'm going to tell it to uh, load resources here. What the? Load resources, all, and uh, unload them there. So now the uh, transport should go and collect these uh, metal deposits. Uh, and that, okay, so uh, uh, the anomaly was uh, useful. 
Uh, right, so let's take a look here. What did we get? Uh, soil adaptation, that gets us farms. That's actually good. Uh, was, uh, farms are extremely useful. Uh, it, it, allows, uh, it allows feeding our colonists, go figure. Uh, now, I said I was going to go back to Earth here for a resupply. Uh, and we'll grab a cargo rocket. Now, what I want, uh, what I didn't bring was an RC commander. And I wonder... Uh, another... Uh, yeah, I, I don't have the support for those, but I'm going to grab a few drone hubs. Okay, and then fill everything else out with, uh, let's see, well, I'm going to grab a few drones, and then I'll fill this out with, let's see, fill this out with uh, resources. And for kicks, a couple of orbital probes. Okay, uh, because we had so much funding off the start, it, uh, it allows us to do things like this. Okay, now I'm going to uh, launch. Now this rocket will be on its way to Mars. Uh, now, there's not much else to do, uh, although, uh, let's go back on the science. Uh, we have a fair bit of, uh, of uh, funding, so let's um, outsource uh, so we can uh, blast through uh, a few of these uh, techs. What's this one? The Dozer rover is actually potentially useful if we need to build a ramp. Uh, okay, so that's that. Now let's uh, speed things up. Uh, now time passes in the game in units called uh, souls, which uh, is really a Martian day. But the effect in the game is basically as uh, as if it was a year. Uh, you, you know the the time scale of the game, uh, it behaves much like a year. So. Uh, so you know the fact that a rocket can get to uh, get from uh, Earth to uh, Mars in in uh, a Sol is not uh, not particularly uh, uh, realistic, but getting there in the better part of a year that is. We don't need to worry about low resources at the moment, uh, just because we. Uh, we don't have any particular, uh, uh, you know, fixed needs for colonists. Now I'm going to build uh, some uh, depots. I'm going to build a metals depot. I'm going to put these over here. So I'm going to put a metals depot. Oh, okay. Uh, Thirty rare metals. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of uh, useful. We can export those for additional funding. Uh, right now, let's. Uh, I, I want to build a depot for uh, concrete, and I want to build one for uh, not yet food. Uh, you know, want it for polymers and. Uh, electronics and machine parts and yep yeah, that'll do there well rare metals might be a good one to have a, a depot for as well and then uh, I will also build one for fuel, but I will not put it beside the other ones. I'm going to put it over here. 
Uh, now that should mean that the uh, resources over here don't get destroyed if the fuel explodes. Um, okay. Yeah, I wish that particular thing wouldn't come up. Okay, so we got decommission protocol. Uh, we got new techs, and we we got a lot of uh, science from uh, from that. Uh, we got another rocket here, which I'm going to drop here because now it's in range of uh, of the concrete there. Uh, now I'm going to go and take a look over here. So we got uh, low G drive. Uh, drones and rovers are faster. Uh, and drone swarm. Oh, we want drone swarm before we start making uh, uh, drone hubs. Okay. Uh, and definitely we want uh, uh, low G drive. And what's this one? And we want the magnetic filtering for Moxies. Definitely. Fuel compression is also good, but we filled up our slots here. So uh, we're now up on uh, Sol 3. We have our second uh, rocket uh, on Mars. Uh, what I'm going to do up here is uh, I'm going to build a concrete extractor here. Uh, this requires four metal and 1.6 machine parts. Now, I should have all of that uh, relatively closely available. Uh, I'm also going to need a uh, I'm going to need a solar panel up here as well. I think I'm going to need two of them. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. Yep. Okay, so ultimately I'm going to end up having to put some drone hubs uh, around and I'm going to put my uh, colonial development in here. Uh, once I get the uh, concrete production online, I'll uh, build some batteries and then this stuff can operate overnight as well. Uh, how's this one doing it okay yeah I definitely want the uh, the uh, tech that uh, reduces fuel usage for rockets okay yeah uh, let's see so uh, I'll speed this up again uh, now something that uh, a lot of people uh, don't realize is uh, drones will go and collect from local metal deposits on the surface if metals needed for something so uh, that's uh, that's something uh, that's uh, worth uh, being aware of so this needs five power for basic operations okay uh, now I'm going to need up here also some de a depot for uh, concrete and uh, what's this need for maintenance machine okay uh, right uh, where is it machine parts and this I'm just gonna say keep five here uh, so there will be machine parts here to maintain that and I'm going to also put a metals depot here with the same setting for maintaining the solar uh, panels okay so RC Explorer has nothing to do oh right um, let's uh, go look up here uh, and uh, let's uh, use a couple of probes so we have uh, uh, deep metals here and uh, concrete 
and if we do this one, we've got an anomaly. Okay. Whoops, I keep doing that. Uh, where is the explorer? Explorer. Uh, we'll send it to the anomaly. And the uh, transport is idle. Uh, okay, so I will send it over here and bring it back over here. That's just a more efficient way of collecting the resources than uh, than sending uh, uh, drones out. Uh, okay, so now uh, we have concrete, so I'm going to build batteries. So I'll build a battery up here. And I will build a battery down here. Now that's why I built the extra solar panels uh, is because that will uh, allow uh, storing during uh, daily operations. Okay, so uh, what's the uh, tech that's available? Transport optimization and water reclamation. Uh, Uh, yeah, that could be good. Uh, fuel compression, I'll take. Right, okay. And then the water rec reclamation system is good for uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of agricultural operation. Uh, the fungal farm, I'm not convinced on. Let's see, and this is, yeah, those two, those could be okay. But I want to get down the uh, robotics and engineering trees for sure. So I'm going to just grab transport optimization because it's not bad. Uh, okay, we're already, yeah, we're still outsourcing here. So uh, it's important to get your, uh, your research uh, going. Okay, we got a random event. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. After the touchdown, da 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 da. da. Uh, okay, so we could reveal the project Mohol uh, Wonder Tech. Uh, we could uh, reveal uh, the project Morpheus Wonder Tech. Or the artificial sun wonder tech, the Mohol tech is actually uh, amazing. Uh, Project Mohol, if you can get that online early, uh, is a game changer. Uh, it's uh, it's basically a mine that gives you unlimited uh, metals and rare metals, uh, and uh, uh, at least. Uh, as I recall, anyway. Oh, uh, something we need to do is uh, set up uh, somewhere to stow uh, waste uh, rock. So I'll set up a couple of uh, spots here. And we had a, a meteor uh, strike there. Uh, and then, yeah, we don't need anything down here. I'll, I'll eventually uh, set up a concrete extractor there as well. Okay, so this uh, battery is operational. And this battery is uh, operational. So uh, once the uh, day starts again, these should start charging at uh, five per hour uh, so that will be uh, helpful
destroyed vehicles two drones well we might as well get our um, our uh, uh, resources from uh, recovering those drones uh, drone swarm is complete uh, let's take a look in here uh, this allows us to actually build drone hubs let's grab that tech oh wait no I'm going to grab project mohole it's expensive to build but uh, we have uh, enough uh, uh, resources that uh, we can uh, we can actually do that uh, right okay so uh, let's uh, let's go look in a resupply uh, cargo rocket uh, let's see uh, prefab buildings uh, let's see what have we here moisture vaporator and fuel refinery I probably want a couple more of those uh, yeah probably and is there stuff here that I actually want uh, nothing critical okay uh, so I'm gonna grab several uh, vaporators and a second fuel refinery and I'm going to get a bunch more drones uh, just because drones are good to have now uh, polymers are going to be important yeah, I'll grab polymers there. Uh, yeah, okay. And then I will launch that. And that's about all the shopping I'll be doing back on Earth for a while. Okay, so we have 30 here. Uh, only nine fuel in there. So that's why I went for the, uh, uh, the extra... Uh, vaporator and, and so on there's something we should be doing here though uh over here sensor towers we should be building those don't okay uh sensor tower these will give us uh additional uh, warning uh, when uh, something uh, is coming our way and that is extremely uh, useful uh, it also will uh, speed up uh, scanning and oh autosave and we uh, will want the Explorer to go over there and uh, explore the uh, anomaly uh, okay so those metal deposits can be exploited uh, by uh, by colonists uh, when we're ready to bring some in uh, okay so this is uh, getting uh, getting things uh, underway uh, low G drive uh, now, what's this? Battery optimization. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll go for drone hub first, and then uh, uh, what I'm I'm, I'm going to do here is uh, build uh, a drone hub over here. And I'm going to build one up here as well. Uh, 
here and I'm going to build one uh, over here in the middle. Uh, and that gives me plenty of coverage. So we got a thousand science. Uh, Japan found uh, water on Mars and we haven't yet. Uh, we got unlucky with the orbital uh, scans, uh, which is fine. Uh, oh, the rockets here. Uh, I can uh, drop the uh, rocket down. Uh, what I uh, what I I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a couple of wind turbines. Uh, now that I've got uh, concrete, oh, we found an anomaly. Uh, so, explorer, go scan the anomaly. Yes, good. Now, uh, I'm going to get uh, magnetic filterings up. That's going to be good. I'm going to get here. Uh, where is it? What was I going for? Oh, right, power. Uh, I'm going to grab uh, a couple of wind turbines. These work overnight. Uh, right. Okay, and I'll I'll probably run a wire between these two uh, areas so that uh, the surplus power can uh, be shared. Uh, uh, new techs are available. What is it? Uh, adapted probes and low G high rise. Uh, adapted probes. Uh, probes can deep scan. Yeah, let's uh, let's put that in the queue. Uh, right. So that's uh, two of these are up uh, here. Okay, so that should uh, that should keep our production moving uh, overnight as well. And this here, it, oh, I. Uh, one other important thing uh, that I'm going to build while I'm thinking of is uh, some rocket uh, pads. I'm going to put them, I'm going to put several of them, I'm going to put three of them uh, and then the, when the next, next time I land rockets I have somewhere I can land them which uh, kicks up a lot less dust and it also means i can uh, start up uh, trading with other uh, colonies if it turns out to be beneficial and that is uh, something that's a mechanic a game mechanic you shouldn't ignore because it can make a huge huge difference uh, if you get in a little bit of a fix uh, uh, somewhere down the line so where we stand right now, we're, uh, we're actually fairly well off uh, so far. Uh, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, resources available. And uh, what, um, what I think I'll, uh, I'll get uh, uh, planning for in the next bit is uh, to see if I can get the Mohole Mine online this early because that kind of breaks the game. Uh, it, it doesn't uh, make it, uh, it completely uh, a cinch to, uh, to win, but the Mohole Mine is uh, so incredibly useful. I can't remember if it needs colonists or if it's automated. If it's automated, we can build it now and use it. Uh, and then, uh, then we just have to worry about concrete and, uh, and other... Um, other resources so uh, we're but we're actually pretty well off anyway I'm going to leave the first part here this is uh, basics the basics of getting a colony up uh, the the initial infrastructure up there's a lot more to be done uh, obviously is the goal is to get it ready for uh, for colonists right uh, which we uh, 
we're nowhere near ready for yet. That's probably going to be three or four parts down the line. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, I guess uh, see everyone back next time.